So what's going on? I just came in from literally like torrential rain outside right now from Waterstones Cafe. Didn't even realise they're too good to go back. This is literally so heavy. We could actual books in here and it costs £4 if it's too good to go back. So let's have a look in, see what it is, review everything, give it a reading. I'm literally so excited for this right now. So we're starting off with a gingerbread man. I love gingerbread, it's a great start. And up next is another one but it's broken and when i clicked on this bag it came up with literally just a picture of like a cake so i'm hoping the majority of this bag's gonna be cakes i'm excited holy moly there is the biggest piece of cake ever i have no idea what this cake is because it looks like there's chocolate bits on the top but then also as soon as i see like this kind of color cake i always automatically just presume it's gonna be coffee cake hopefully not because i like coffee cake my wife does, so she might have a lot of coffee cake here. Whoa, there's another piece of this mammoth size chocolate coffee cake. Unknown cake. So, next up in the bag. <laughs> what on earth? I think it's like six pieces of cake. Six pieces of cake. It looks just like a normal like sponge. I don't know if it's like a lemon cake or just normal vanilla cake. That is literally, look at my head. What is happening? <laughs> we also have sandwiches in here. This is mental like. So you have gluten free Mediterranean style chickpea. I do not think that is gonna be for me because I do not like vegetables. Next up is the same one again. Another chickpea sandwich. I'm guessing people don't like chickpea sandwiches either. They're having my life here, like, they've given me four chickpea sandwiches. Four of the, exactly the same sandwich. Mediterranean style chickpea, four of the same sandwich. Why? Why would I want four of the same sandwich? That's crazy to me, by the way. And that is the end of the bag i mean what a strange bag we have four of the same sandwich we have two mammoth sized pieces of cake two gingerbreads and like six slices of cake let's try them this is i'm confused so first things first i guess chickpea sandwich you ought to do savory first right i don't think i'm gonna like this at all I hate vegetables. But it does look like some sort of spicy mayonnaise, which looks nice. But the vegetable aspect is making us feel a little bit crazy. And the sandwich is quite wet. So this is what it looks like. My worst nightmare. I'm so scared. Hit the sub and like button for this alone because anyone who's seen any of my videos before knows how much I hate vegetables. If this is the first one you've seen, I despise vegetables. This is actually good, it's that watery feeling before you be sick. Ooh, I think I can see an olive as well. Oh, nah, I'm having a nightmare. No. That is disgusting. Nah. That has got to be one of the worst sandwiches I've ever tried in my entire life. That is truly, truly disgusting. Mediterranean style chickpea sandwich, not for me. Would anyone like one? Because I have <laughs> three more. <laughs> that is a terrible time, mate. Like. Let's uh, cleanse my palate. Gingerbread man. Let's dig in. Going for his little broken teal. Mmm, yeah. That is very good. The gingerbread is nice and soft rather than being like a snappy one. I have like a soft gingerbread. That's what this is, and it's very good. Mmm. Super tasty. So, my review for that sandwich. Not that I feel like it needs one. Zero out of ten. Absolutely disgusting. The review for this gingerbread, a solid eight out of ten. That's a very good gingerbread. 
So let's find out what this mysterious piece of cake is. Because there's chocolate pieces on the top, which suggests to me chocolate cake, but then the frosting looks like a coffee colour. It's all very confusing, it's very wrapped up, like a very tight secret. Jesus. So here we are. This is the cake, let's try. Coffee cake. I know it would be. As soon as I've seen the colour, I knew that was going to be coffee cake. Um, I mean, considering I actually despise coffee, I hate coffee. I'm not one of those coffee people in the morning whatsoever. I'm a Pepsi Max kind of girl. Um, the sponge, I can appreciate, is very soft. The buttercream has loads of flavour and it's really, really nice as well. The cake is very, very well made. I just don't like coffee, so I don't like it. So if I pretended for a second that I liked coffee, I would probably give that a solid, like, 7.5 out of 10 it's very good as i don't like coffee i would give it like a four i would potentially be able to eat it but then the aftertaste is where the coffee is and i don't like that but the original taste is very nice um yeah my wife has a lot of coffee cake to eat and i've got a horrible feeling this is going to be lemon cake and i don't like lemon <laughs> oh i'm having a nightmare gingerbread for me chickpea for who wants it coffee cake for my wife and this will be a lemon cake for my wife too. This is lemon cake. Why do they wrap this like it's trying to get into a prison? Just let me into the cake. My god. It's literally just falling apart at the seams. I don't know if you can see how wet this cake is. It's literally so slimy, which concerns me also. Whoa. That is super 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 strong lemon cake as soon as i seen the glaze on that i just knew it was going to be lemon yeah that's one of the most lemoniest cakes i've ever tried my dad would love that if he was uh, living up north because he loves super lemony cake and that has literally opened all my sinuses up that is crazy strong but again a very well made cake apart from the fact They've obviously infused the sponge with so much lemon, it's just falling apart in your hands. But it does mean, even though I really don't like lemon, it was super soft. The cake literally melted in my mouth. The glaze on the top holds everything together and it's really good. It's a very, again, it's a very well-made cake. I just don't like the flavourings in which they've chosen for. If I did like lemon, I'll probably just give it a solid like 8 out of 10. I don't like lemon, so for me it's like a 2 out of 10. I would really struggle to eat that because my face is like, oh my god, that was crazy. Um... What a weird, weird bag, by the way. I would say, if you're not a fussy eater like me, four pounds, what an absolute bargain, by the way, because you're gonna get four sandwiches, you're gonna get six pieces of coffee cake, six pieces of lemon cake, and two gingerbreads for four pounds. You couldn't even get a hot drink for that. That's crazy, that's such good value. But it's because I'm a fussy eater, so for me, not the best value, because I paid four pounds now for two gingerbread men. I have a Greg's Too Good To Go bag to collect. I think it's half seven to half eight. That is the one that I'm most excited for. I wanted to get this one just to see, like, it's kind of a comparison of, like, a cafe to another, like, it's like a big chain. Like, Greg's is a big chain, right? So how much to see what it's going to be like. I'm really excited for the Greg's. I'm hoping there's going to be some good things. If there's a load of bakes in this bag, I'm just going to give up on this video. <laughs> because I hate, 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 like, chicken bakes, steak bakes, all them things. I hate them. I absolutely despise them. I hate sausage rolls. Don't like them. So, yeah. This could be a bad day for me. But we'll see. So, we're just back from Greg's. Again, absolute torrential rain. Got the two good to go bag we all said. Let's dig in. This was £2.59. This was cheaper than the one earlier. Feels pretty weighty, to be fair. So, I'm hoping it's going to be good. Two sausage rolls. Don't like sausage rolls. No point me even eating that. It's going to be a zero out of ten for me. The sausage rolls, I just don't like the sausage meat. The pastry isn't too bad, but I feel like the sausage meat just tastes like gristle. It's not nice. So I've already had a gristle straw before. I know it's a zero out of ten, but my wife likes it. So, <laughs> so basically, this video is me just giving my wife a lot of things that she did ask for. <laughs> Next up, oh my. <laughs> Two chicken bakes. What did I tell you earlier? I knew I was going to get bakes. I knew I was going to get pastries, but I went for it anyway. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. 
two yum yums. Okay. I mean, it's not the best cake, but they're actually okay. Next up. Someone help me. A tuna mayo stotty. I despise tuna. So the only thing in this bag that I like is the yum yums. I'm such a fussy eater. That's what I've learned in this video. Why am I such a fussy eater? I'm a nightmare. So, I've had a chicken bake before because who hasn't, right? Zero out of 10 for me. I just don't like it at all. The texture of it makes us feel poorly. Such as rolls. I don't like either. Zero out of 10 for us again. No. These are all zero out of 10 to me. These are disgusting. But I will have a bite of the yum yum. So I can at least say I've had something from the bag. Oh, it's a very good glazed one. Like, have a little check of that. Mmm, that is a decent yum yum. I'll give that a solid, like, seven out of ten. Soft, glazed well, yes. But to be fair, again, if you're not a fussy eater like me, I think £2.59 is very good for this. So you literally get two chicken bakes, two sausage rolls, this stotty thing is actually kind of a decent sized sandwich, and two yum yums for £2.59. That's so good, that's crazy good. So that is the end of the video now. Apologies that there wasn't a massive amount of me eating in the Too Good To Go bag, but I know I don't like such rolls, I know I don't like chicken bakes, and I know I don't like tuna, was it stotties, I think it's called? I know I don't like them. Like, I've tried this all before, and I know I don't like them, so it's pointless to me just trying it to then just say zero out of 10, when I know that I don't like them because I've had them before. And I don't think my wife probably wants bits eat out of all of them when I know I don't like them, it's pointless. But yeah, that yum yum was very good, and like I've already said, very good for its money. So, if there are any videos that you guys want to see, please let us know. I have been asked to eat Indian food for 24 hours. That is coming very soon. If you guys want to see anything else, please let us know. Take care. Stay safe. See you guys in the next one. Hit that sub and like if you haven't already. Bye.